Hi, this is Dale with Computer Aftercare again, and today I want to tell you how to reset your modem and your router. Well, if you connect to the internet, you use a modem, whether it's a dial-up, cable, or DSL modem, or even a cellular modem. And if you have a network, especially a wireless one, you also use a router. Now, the modem is a box that provides the internet connection from your ISP, your internet service provider who you pay your bill to. And usually it's connected with a phone line or a cable TV line. So you can see here down at the bottom, here's some examples of a cable modem. Here's a DSL modem. Here's a wireless router and another wireless router. So they all come in different shapes and sizes. Now the router, as I just showed you, is another box that connects to the modem to link computers to the internet so that they can share the single connection. Now a router is more than just a hub or a switch. It's an intelligent device with memory and processing capabilities. But it does have its limitations. Its limited memory and processing capabilities have to run an operating system. And the operating system, in turn, needs to support several programs and services that allow it to function as a web server, a DHCP server, which gives you your private IP addresses, a firewall, and more, all while keeping track of where the data is coming from and going to on your network. Now, without getting into the specifics, sometimes your router and your modem can become congested and lose sync with each other that it causes you to lose your internet connection. Ever see this? And some routers, though, are better than others, and in my opinion, the Linksys Cisco routers are typically the best. Now, we all lose our internet connection from time to time for a variety of reasons, so check your settings first before you make any changes to your system. If your settings appear correct, sometimes all that's needed is to, is to cycle the power on the computer, the modem, and the router. Sometimes you can just individually do one of these like restart the computer or just restart the router. But for best results, you want to do all three. But before you attempt to reset the power, as I mentioned, you could just try restarting your router just one of the devices by momentarily pressing the reset button on the back of the router. Be careful not to hold the reset button on too long though. Pressing it for at least 10 seconds will usually override all your custom settings and will reset the router back to the default factory settings. For the most part that won't affect too many people unless you've uh, changed your IP address and you have a wireless network with secure settings. Now, if you see over here, this is the reset button that I'm talking about. Virtually all routers I've seen have a reset button here. You can just get a pen or a pencil and just press it. Just one quick press and that's usually it to restart it. Now, to begin power cycling your system, shut down your computers and disconnect the power to your modem and router. Now, to shut down your computer, you do that just how you normally would. but to disconnect the power to your modem and router, the modem and router will usually have an AC adapter like you see here, which is plugged into an outlet. And the other end here is usually plugged right into this power jack. Uh, most modems and routers don't have a power switch, so you either have to disconnect the power from uh, this power connection here, or from the other end in the power outlet, whichever is easiest for you to reach. Now in some cases, the modem and router will be a combo unit. It'll just be one box, basically, so there will only be one AC adapter to unplug. And it makes no difference which equipment you turn off or unplug first when you're doing the shutdown step of resetting the modem and router. Now don't start powering anything back up yet until instructed, because the sequence does have an effect. So there is a proper order of how you power things up, although it is pretty easy. Just be sure that everything stays off for at least one minute before you start powering things back up. Uh, that'll give you your best results there. Now, while disconnecting the power cables, while you're there, it's, it'd be prudent to actually reseat the other cables, such as the Ethernet cables as well. The Ethernet cables are these ones here that connect between the ports here and the other end of the cable, which you can't see here, will connect to the computer. And then you'll have this WAN port where this one here is going to connect to the cable modem. So basically you're just going to press down in the clip, pull it out, 
and then push it back in and just feel that positive locking click that you should hear knowing that it's seated properly. Now, if you have a separate modem and router, just don't mix up the AC adapters when you reconnect them later. If you have one here for the modem and another of the same thing for the router, sometimes these things are not the same. They put out different voltages. So even though the connector fits, don't mix them up. You could damage your equipment doing this. And for best results, as I mentioned before, leave the power disconnected to the modem and router for at least a full 60 seconds. Now, here's the important part. Bef you're going to plug the power connector back in your modem, but don't plug the power back into the router yet until the modem acquires a signal. Now, if you see here, you're going to have different types of modems. This one here happens to be a cable modem. Uh, sometimes they'll have a light here that's labeled online. Sometimes it'll say cable. What you want to see is that this light is on steady, not like this one that's blinking down here. You want the light to be steady. That's how you know that the modems acquire the signal. Now, as I mentioned here, when the cable or on light is on steady, or if you have a DSL modem, usually it's labeled DSL. If that light's on steady, then you're ready to go to the next step. Now, if you aren't sure which lights are what, just wait 30 seconds before you reconnect the power to the router. That'll usually give you enough time for it to acquire its signal. Now, once the modem acquires a signal, you can now reconnect the power to the router. And connecting the power to the router is pretty straightforward, as I mentioned. Here's the power connector. And usually you have a jack like this to plug into there. Now, once you've powered up the router, wait another 30 seconds, and then you can power up the computers how you normally would. In most cases, this will actually correct your network and internet connection problems. Now, another thing, this isn't done too often, but keeping your router's firmware up to date may improve the stability of your router and prevent these uh, little problems from happening from time to time. So check your manufacturer's website for more info if you think this may be the case. Also, as you push more data through the router, or have too many concurrent connections such as bit torrents and high video download rates etc that can also cause you to have some of these problems where you're just going to have to basically power cycle the modem and the router to reset things anyways what's what's happening here is that it can cause your router to run out of memory or it can encounter a bug that freezes the OS or even overheat its processor so don't overwork your router or get a better one that can handle this. Now another common reason for having to reset your router is to flush configuration changes. Not, not a failure per se, but let's say that your router is connected to your modem when the cable company happens to change your IP address after maintenance. This happens because you don't always have the same IP address, at least most uh, residential services don't unless you purchase a static IP address so yours may change from time to time so in this case after maintenance the router might be expecting to send traffic through a different IP address when it's set to its previous one so you're going to lose your connection so whatever the reason if your modem can't negotiate a connection through your router to the computer you will experience network and or internet connection problems. The good news is that a simple power reset will usually correct the problem and now you know how. Uh, as long as it took me to speak about this, it's, you could have done it very quickly. It's really not hard to do at all. Anyways, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Dale with Computer Aftercare. Thank you and bye-bye.